Hey guys, it's Drew with Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be talking about the king of all errors, the 1955 double die that we picked up from a collection this weekend. We're also going to be showing you all the other coins that we picked up and how we had a fun experience with the collector. Let's get this video started. Even if you don't get to buy something from a collection, just sitting down with the collector, seeing what they like to pick up, what they like to buy, their their vast interests in collecting coins, just that alone is a great experience if you haven't done it yet. And that's a big reason why we like to be coin dealers is because we get to sit down at people's tables or on their couch and ask them what they like to collect and then get to see it firsthand. Most of the time that, you know, you can't, you can't buy that experience. You have to actually work for it and get closer to it over time as you become a coin dealer. And so we sat down this past week with Richard. Uh, we drove all the way up to Dallas to see him. He's been a subscriber for a long time. We met him at the TNA show formally and we just were you know, welcomed into his home, which was nice. And he showed us a lot of amazing coins. We ended up buying some peace dollars from him. We also ended up buying a few higher end coins an 89 CC, a nice trade dollar. Um, and we also bought the king of all errors, which is the 1955 double die obverse Lincoln cent. So what I, what I like, thank you for the Pellegrini as well, Richard, if you're watching this, but we got to see what somebody's kind of obsessive nature, what, I, which is not really the best word, but Kobe Bryant kind of used it to say that if you're going to do something, be obsessive about it, be very intentional and have high intensity when you're you know, working on something that you're passionate about. Sometimes there's people that say, you know, I want to be the best at this or I want to be the best at that or I want to have the best collection. And then when I see their collection, you know, it's it's subpar. It's something that I would say, you know, if I looked at you saying that you want the best collection then sometimes seeing that maybe you just buy pieces that were not great or you're not very diligent and kind of choosy on what you like to pick or... Um, you know, there's certain things, I guess, that comes to a great collection. And when you see it in hand and being able to purchase it in hand is a really cool experience because Richard, I think, picked up these coins over a 10 year period. And while he was picking them up, I would say that he turned down maybe 24 out of 25 coins for a certain date. And he picked the one that had the best eye appeal, the best look, and he wanted to put that in his set. He may have paid a lot at the time, but I think that he made some money when he ended up selling them to us last week. And so we're going to show you these guys. We're going to show you these coins, and we hope you guys enjoy them because it was a pleasure for us to handle them, and it was also a pleasure for us to sit down with Richard. So let's show you guys these coins. All right, guys, so here's the span of everything that we got over at Richard's house. Filled up two trays pretty nicely. Let's start off with a little bit of tougher stuff here. Got the 89cc hanging out. Also had that 75cc hanging out. So this 89cc, one of the toughest in the series for Carson Cities to get. Definitely not, uh, you know, there's some original, originality to the coin, but not a whole ton. A lot of things happened to some coins, but this one's still market acceptable. I think it's really nice, but I don't think it would ever cack. We have a whole group of peace dollars that I'm excited to show you guys because these ones were handpicked. Uh, by Richard, just exceptional, exceptional coins. I mean, the luster is phenomenal. The grade's phenomenal. He really is a big proponent and really believes in, in CAC, so he buys strictly CAC coins most of the time. I mean, just look at this 26D. When you want this in your collection, really nice. So we have this 23 Philly. Even down to the common dates, he picked out really nice coins. This one's in a old NGC holder, CAC approved. Has a little spots on the reverse, but that's okay. Then we have this Carson City trade dollar. It's graded mint state 62. It's hard to pick up the color on this coin, but it has the same color on both sides. What do you guys think of this color down below? I would love to hear your thoughts. Definitely a tough date to find in mint state and especially with color. Then we have two rattlers that we want to show you guys today. This is a 1947 Walking Liberty half. And uh, it's gold CAC approved. I think Richard said he sent this one in himself. So that's pretty cool that he got a gold CAC on this coin. 
Don't know how many of these hang, are hanging out still for people to pick up, so it was definitely a unique offering. We have this 1922 piece dollar. It's graded mint state 64. It's gold CAC approved. Has some haziness to the coin, but overall, I think it's a really nice 65. It was approved by Sight White as well, which is an outfit out of Pennsylvania. They talk a lot with CAC about coins, so maybe that's something that'll be coming up in the future as uh, a valuable sticker. I know most people don't like stickers, but that's just uh, tough luck. We have this 1957 proof Franklin half. I mean, just a gorgeous coin. Didn't get this from Richard, but did come in at the same time. Really great cameo effect. No issues in the fields. Most of the time when you're looking at the, the Franklins, you're going to want to look kind of at the face and the, and the jaw. If something ever slid across it, that's where a lot of those you know, lower grade 64, 65s come, come into play. But this one didn't really have too many issues on the high points. Then we have the King of Errors here. This is a 1955 double die obverse. Great Mint State 64 plus red brown. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and show you guys. Excellent detail. I love the doubling on this coin as most collectors do. And so when he gave us an, an option to buy this coin, you know we couldn't pass it up. Nothing too crazy about the reverse. A little bit of color but just a staple of anybody's kind of collecting is a double die like this. Most kids have been dreaming of this coin since they started collecting, maybe when they're 10 or 12, and now they might be 50 or 60 years old, and this coin may be, you know, something that they pick up. And so definitely an exciting coin. So happy to be able to share that one. Let's show you guys the rest of these awesome peace dollars. So this is a 1935 piece dollar. It's graded mint state 65. CC approved, mostly white. A few underlying little spots here and there, but the luster is phenomenal. Definitely a gemmy luster. Then we have this 23D piece dollar. It's graded mint state 63 by PCGS. It's got that nice rim toning to the coin. It is CAC approved. Piece dollars with toning are very tough to come by anyway, so being able to pick up this coin was something cool and unique. Then we have this 35S, which is a little bit of a tougher date. Same kind of story as the 35, though. Really nice gemmy luster. Really flashy. Has a kind of big coin roll on the obverse of the coin. And I think that's what held it back for something higher. You can see it right there underneath the L. We have two OGH holders that we want to show you guys that for these piece dollars. You know, there's 22D and 65 CAC. You know, uh, it's got a little bit off whiteness to the fields, as you can see, but rather problem free. Nice gemmy luster also. Then we have this 34 Philly. I mean, all these coins were handpicked, really choice coins. Whenever you see coins like this in hand, I mean, if, if you get an opportunity, I try to buy them with Casey as much as possible. And uh, I mean, just a phenomenal looking dollar. We've seen a lot of dollars you know, that have been beat up, that have a lot of issues, that are ugly toned. And these coins are the complete opposite. So we have this 26 Philly. If I was a peace dollar collector, then I would be all over this one too. I don't know. I'm just, I'm really stoked about what Richard bought for us. And I wanted to show you guys these coins up close. What do you guys think of these peace dollars? Let me know down below. What do you guys think of the other coins that we were showing off today? Buying collections like this doesn't happen very often, so being able to share it with you guys is is an honor. And the last one I want to show you guys is this Franklin. It's from 1954. It's proof 65 cameo. It has a little toning up by Liberty and on the reverse, but a gorgeous cameo effect indeed. But thank you guys for taking a look at all these coins. I really do appreciate you guys you know, spending the time to take a look at everything that we picked up. We want to thank you guys for watching today's video. If you guys want to sell a collection to us or at least have us offer some numbers for you, just reach out to my cell phone number, 832-538-4122. I'd be happy to sit down, give you a call or give you a text, maybe email you back. Um, if you guys like today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts on the coins, and have you sat down with a collector and let them uh, show you their collection. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos because we're coming out with them every single week. And we'll see you guys in the next video.